Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. Um, everything you could possibly need is in the description box below. My TikTok, recommended readers, decks used. Um, I do do a monthly giveaway on this channel, so be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, it is super easy to enter to win. The directions are below, and I post the winners on the first of the month or around the first of the month because I can't get my life together uh, on the community page, okay? Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, obviously, roles can be reversed in a reading, um, so flip it, twist it, reverse it to however way it works for you. Um, this could be energy in or around you, so this could be something you're going through or something someone close to you is going through, okay? So let's get started with Oracle, and then we're going to get into the Tarot, all right? Spirit, what messages do we have today for Scorpio, please? Okay, we've got status quo. We have remain positive. We've got walking away. We've got yin. The end of a tough cycle approaches. And we've got work. Okay. So Scorpio, there's a situation here where there's a status of a connection here and you're trying to handle the situation with grace, okay? You're trying to remain positive. Um, so your status in a situation has changed and you're trying to look at the, the, the positive aspects of it, okay? With work and walking away, it has been difficult. It has been difficult from walking away from the situation. As you can see, this person's walking away and looking back like, are you sure? You sure you really want that? You sure you want me to go? Is this really you sure? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And um, I feel like Scorpio, you know, it's it's taken a lot of work on your part, but I feel like you're trying, you know, it is what it is, right? So you're trying to remain positive about the situation. You're trying to see the best out of the situation. Um, this could have been a karmic, but you felt like this was the yin to your yang. You felt like this was the one. You felt like this was the person that you were supposed to, you know, have forever with. But it was tough. With the end of a tough cycle approaches, I feel like, you know, the connection may have been toxic in some ways. Um, but, you know, still, you were able to overlook it and say, you know, well, spending forever with somebody through good and bad is what a relationship is about, right? But, you know, it's been difficult. The relationship was difficult. The ending was difficult difficult, but it's coming to a close. The end of a difficult cycle approaches. So this could be a karmic cycle that is shutting out for you. Um, it doesn't have to be karmic. You know, a regular soulmate could just come into your life, Scorpio, and just, you know, teach you lessons. You know, not all soulmates are meant, are meant to stay together, okay? Tell me about Scorpio, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Scorpio, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. What does Scorpio need to know today please spirit tell me about scorpio please okay so we've got through the rough currents movement towards peace and that was in the reverse so scorpio there's something here that you didn't want to move on from okay you didn't want it to end you didn't want to move on from this inner child check in with your inner child and have fun so i feel like scorpio there's an energy here of letting loose going out and just accepting things for what it is spotlight attention and recognition so i feel like scorpio once you decide to just go out have a good time you're going to start finding the love and attention that you feel like you deserve uh, abandoned kingdom neglected home and isolation so Scorpio someone here I can say that you walked out on somebody, but I don't feel like that's the case, Scorpio. I feel like someone here wanted things to end with you, okay? And that ending, that that status and that in this relationship was very difficult for you, okay? You didn't want to leave this. You didn't want to move on. You didn't want to move forward, but you're coming to a place of acceptance. You're going out, you're having fun, um, and you're about to get a lot of attention and recognition from somebody, okay? And it's going to feel good because some Someone here abandon you and you have been in isolation you know what I'm saying or you know even if you had people around you you still felt very
very lonely, okay? It still hurt that this thing ended for you. Um, but now you have someone coming into your life that's giving you that attention or that love that you feel that you need. And it's going to feel really good, you know, because I'm kind of getting an energy and I'm sorry that I'm going to say it this way, but it's kind of like the energy of a dried sponge. You didn't get the love and attention that you needed in the relationship. Then the ending happened and that was even worse. And now it's like you're about to get a certain type of love uh, or attention from somebody that kind of like it's like water it's like it's like um hydrating you it's like replenishing you and now that sponge is full and soft and you know what i'm saying you're just soaking up the love and affection so we've got message Ooh, okay okay we've got concern We've got change. We've got sudden wealth. We've got pathway. And then we've got message. So I feel Scorpio, what happened here was someone here hits you up. You know, you started talking to somebody, you guys started texting back and forth, phone calls back and forth. And with Pathway here, you started to realize that you've got options. You've got options, Scorpio. And with sudden wealth, change and concern, as much as you're scared of the change or what this change actually means for your life, with sudden wealth here, it's a blessing. You know, we've got number 11 here this could possibly be your divine counterpart prominent days for the month of november december and january are the 7th the 11th the 9th okay and the 27th possibly so Scorpio, you're realizing you have options and what you're what you're starting to see is that this new option may be something even better than what you had before even though you couldn't even comprehend that because you thought that this previous situation was everything that you could have ever wanted and now you're starting to realize man you know this new connection is amazing it's giving me the the love and attention that i feel that i deserve i'm so much happier right now okay again with concern and change you were scared you were scared to make that change and with unexpected income i feel like you weren't expecting to find somebody that made you so happy okay you weren't expecting that Tell me about Scorpio, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Scorpio, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Okay. We have the ring. The anchor. The bouquet. And the clouds. So, Scorpio, here you are. You've got all these clouds happening for you, okay? All this negative uh, negativity. But the sun is right there. And look, underneath the deck, guess what we have, Scorpio? The sun. Okay, I don't know if you could see that with the glare. Do you see that? So, so you've been going through such a hard time, Scorpio. And the sun is right there. It's right there. It's about to come out for you. Because, Scorpio, we've got the anchor, the ring, and the bouquet. There is something that is very solid coming in for you. You've got like a ride or die coming in with you for you, okay? Someone with a lot of love, a lot of gifts, a lot of attention, a lot of affection, and loyal. This person is loyal. This is going to lead to to long-term commitment, okay? So the sun is finally coming out, okay? The sun is finally coming out for you, uh, Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Scorpio, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay, we've got stabbed in the back in the reverse. Stabbed in the back in the reverse. We've got girl with a snake, and we have uh, the sword and the rose. So I feel like a truth came out, Scorpio, okay? The truth that came out is that somebody here uh, possibly was narcissistic, okay? And you felt like you needed to protect yourself from that. This person may have used you for whatever they needed, but you realize here that you had to put boundaries up for the, from this person, okay? And with stabbed in the back and the reverse, what you have coming in is somebody that won't betray you, okay? That won't betray you. Tell me about 
the sword and the rose. Tell me about this truth. Okay, we've got girl talk in the reverse. This is the person that you had trouble moving on from, okay? This is the person that you had trouble moving on from. But I feel like with wedding under the deck, you're about to find somebody that would never hurt you the way this person did. And this is gonna be the person that you're truly meant to be with. All right, so let's get into the tarot and see what we have going on. Spirit, tell me about Scorpio, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Tell me about Scorpio, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about Scorpio, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Yep, see, the Knight of Cups and the Four of Swords. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. Scorpio, there is someone coming towards you with a type of love that is so healing for you. Tell me about Scorpio, please. Yeah, we've got the Three of Swords and we've got the Wheel of Fortune. Scorpio, you've been in a tremendous amount of pain. And now this wheel is finally starting to turn in your favor, okay? Okay, tell me about this Knight of Cups energy. We've got the tower, Aries, Scorpionic energy. Uh, Scorpio, you were not expecting this. Uh, two of cups and the four of swords. Scorpio, you were not expecting to find a love like this. You were not expecting to find a soulmate. You were not expecting to find a love that is actually helping you heal to this extent. We've got um, the chariot, Cancerian energy, and we've got the lover's card. So I feel a very strong, we've got the two of cups, the lover's card, and the wheel of fortune. And a love reading those are all divine guidedly so divinely guided soul ties okay that's a divinely guided soulmate and with the three of swords and the chariot i feel like spirit is telling you Yes, I know you've been heartbroken, but it was for because we have a better choice for you. We want you to be victorious. We have you moving towards victory, okay? Five of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles and the Justice card. It's been a long road for you, Scorpio. You've had to heal from a lot of things. You feel like you've been hurt in a lot of ways. Um, with the Five of Cups, there was a sense of mourning and sadness and just, you know, it's just a very ugly feeling. But with Justice card here, the wheels are turning in your favor, Scorpio. Okay, karma is turning in your favor. Tell me about the present moment for Scorpio. Wow. Okay. We've got the Ace of Cups. We've got the Ace of Swords. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And we've got the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Under the deck, we've got the, uh, the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, you've got something new coming in. You have something new coming in. And it's going to be victorious. This is victory here. You've got someone honest, someone loyal. With the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Swords, the more you're around this person, the more protective you get of them. Like, because they're bringing so much joy and happiness to your life, you're very protective of this relationship and this person. So we've got the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups here. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. And we've got the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This person gives love Scorpio in the most honest and pure way. Like they are, they are genuinely affectionate with the love that they give. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Tell me about this King and Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Guys, I feel like you and this person are very protective of your home, your family, and each other. Now, there is this Queen of Wands here, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. So there is this outside person, and we've got the Ten of Swords here. So I feel like this Queen of Wands is the person now where there has been this ending with this Ten of Swords ending. Okay, page of pentacles and the six of swords. Now, Scorpio, I feel that this king and queen of swords energy is moving into deeper waters. And this connection is helping you with that six of swords release and move forward. And now Scorpio, you're able to just be friends with this queen of wands. You're finally accepting that ending because with the ace of pentacles and the five of swords, you've given up, you've moved on, and you're moving on to this beautiful, beautiful new beginning. We've got the ace of uh, cups here, the ace of pentacles, the ace of swords. This is you cutting something out of your 
life and moving towards true love and true stability here. Okay. Tell me about the near future for Scorpio. The near future for Scorpio, please. We've got the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. We've got the Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. We have the Six of Wands and we've got the Six of Cups. This is interesting. Six of Wands and the Six of Cups. Tell me about the Six of Wands, please, for Scorpio. We've got the Emperor to the Empress. Tell me about the Six of Cups for Scorpio. The Judgment card in the reverse. Tell me about the Page of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Tell me about the Empress here and the Nine of Cups. Oh, Scorpio, you're flaunting it. You're flaunting it. You're flaunting it. So we have an emperor and an empress here. Okay, Scorpio. So you've met your divine counterpart. This is a power couple. You may end up having children with this person. You may end up marrying this person. Okay, now here's the thing. This six of cups energy, which I feel is the queen of wands, where there was an ending with this person, judgment in the reverse, you are not choosing this person anymore. And there will never be a second chance with this person again, because with the nine of cups and the empress, the 10 of cups, you know, you have found your true counterpart here. Okay, with the six of wands, though, you want to show it off, Scorpio. You want to show it off. Okay, you want to, you're proud of this connection and you want to show it off. And with the Page of Wands and the Four of Pentacles, you want to let everyone know that you are never going to let go of this person, that they belong to you. Five of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Page of Swords. Just be careful here, Scorpio, because there may be someone here that finds out about this, and I feel like it might be the Queen of Wands energy, and things may start to get ugly, okay? The farther your relationship progresses, someone here may start getting jealous. They may start getting a little bit more nasty when they talk to you. You may have children with this person, okay? I'm seeing the Page of Swords, the Page of Pentacles. You may have children with this person, all right? It is possible. Um... But Scorpio, I feel like as things progress between the Emperor and the Empress, this third party X is going to start to cause more and more drama. Okay. Um, yeah, with the Justice card and the Five of Cups, I feel like this, this Queen of Wands energy is receiving their karma for something and they're starting to regret a decision that was made. Okay. But by the time this Queen of Wands comes to realize that they made a mistake, you'll be living happily ever after, Scorpio. You've met your emperor empress here you are ecstatic you are in love you're receiving emotional fulfillment you're moving on moving forward and by the time you know that queen of wands energy catches up to what's actually happening it's going to be too late okay all right guys i love you so much i hope you enjoyed and take care bye